Kelly Bayer Rosmarin has resigned as Optus Chief Executive. Her departure follows the network outage nearly two weeks ago, which left 10 million customers without access to phone and internet services. She had come under intense criticism for her handling of the outage and was defiant at a Senate hearing in Canberra on Friday. Senior business correspondent Peter Ryan is with me in the studio. He's been following this story closely. We were talking on Friday as Kelly Bay or Rosmarin appeared at the Senate hearing about whether she could survive and it seems yeah. that she couldn't. What has she had to say this morning? Well, that's right. Kelly Bayer Rosmarin at Friday's hearing was trying to give every uh, message out there that she was going to soldier on to be the chief executive who was going to solve this crisis, which has damaged Optus's reputation. Clearly, a lot of discussions behind the scenes and also with the board of Singtel, which is Optus's owner, over the weekend. And this morning, just a short time ago, hot off the press, um, confirmation in a statement from Singtel, Optus's owner, that uh, Kelly Bayer Rosmarin has uh, said it's been an honour, but now is an appropriate time to step down. And she makes the point in a quote that having had some time for some personal reflection, that she's come to the decision that her resignation is in the best interest of Optus and also of Singtel. So a lot of pressure there from those hearings on Friday where she did actually answer with a lot of poise and style under intense questioning in that very Senate style, but uh, facing um, claims for compensation, a lot of questions from um, the Senate and also customers and other regulators about how this happened, concerns about why the Triple O emergency service didn't work, and then 228 calls went unanswered as a result of the outage. Yeah, correct. Very big concerns about essential services. And in the background, um, Kelly Bayer Rosmarin still copying flack from the cyber attack this time last year. So two major crises. She made it through the cyber attack. Um, this particular one, she hasn't made it through. So she's leaving. She's resigned. Said it's been an honour. But clearly, there's been a lot of you know pressure from uh, big investors and also the Singtel board. Who's going to come in to replace her? Well, Kelly Bayer Rosmarin will be replaced by Optus's uh, current uh, chief financial officer, Michael Venner. And there also will be uh, what they're saying in the statement, a global search for a new chief executive. And just a bit of background on Kelly Bayer Rosmarin. She did step into um, the role as Optus chief executive at the beginning of the pandemic, appointed uh, by Singtel. Her background is that she was a high powered banking executive at the Commonwealth Bank, head of institutional banking, uh, been through a lot of issues, high levels of responsibility, and has, has really had to earn, earn, earn new credentials in the world of issues and crime crisis management there at Optus. But looking very carefully at the statement that's come from Singtel, quoting uh, the Chief Executive Officer of Singtel, Yuen Kwan Moon, uh, noting uh, and recognising uh, Kelly Bayer Rosmarin's contribution, but noting the need for Optus to regain customer trust and confidence as the team works through what happened with that outage and the intense reputational damage we did see some mixed messages just last week about the cause of the outage. On, uh, on Wednesday, we had it confirmed in a statement from Optus that they thought that the cause was actually triggered by a fault at the Singtel International Exchange. And then late on Thursday, there was a statement from Singtel in Singapore saying uh, it wasn't us. It was actually done, the change was done, but the Optus's outage occurred 20 minutes or so after they did the big upgrade. So. Not surprisingly, there are some reviews underway about communications inside Optus, but you'd have to say there are a lot of um, competitors, but probably Telstra, major banks, any other business thinking there for the grace of God, go we or go I, because these outages can happen. But the problem is not so much the issue, but it's how you clean up after a crisis and how you respond. And that's the big question, isn't it? How does Optus go about regaining the trust of its customers? Yeah, and ensuring that customers don't decide to work. Walk, I mean, rebuilding trust. A lot of customers were upset of just being offered 200 gigabytes of free data. Maybe it would have been better not offering anything. But a lot of concerns there, but there's a long way to go to rebuild the trust and reputation. And the way these things go when you 
on, a, on the board of Singtel, looking down there from Singapore, knowing that you do have a very, very strong and capable chief executive, sometimes there has to be a change like that to actually get the reputational repair underway.